Hey there, YouTubers. Uh, did you know there's Wheels of Fortune merchandise? You can get it at Teespring right now, but pretty soon I'm going to be setting that up on other sites, so look out for that. Um, also, thank you to my Patreon donors and my donors uh, not on Patreon. Uh, your contributions are greatly appreciated. All right, on topic. So this is my friend Tom, and uh, we met sort of not on YouTube, but because of YouTube. Uh, a mutual friend of ours saw some of my videos and was and connected us. And does that sound right? Connected us? That sounds yeah. odd. <laughs> like we're joined at connected. the hip or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I but um, it introduced us to each other. Um, so and um, he. Um, he lives up in Virginia. I live in obviously New Jersey or Florida, depending on the time of year. But um, we we were able to meet last year, and after we met, I was like, "Oh, they, they went back home," and I was like, "Oh, we didn't do a YouTube video. That was stupid of me." So here is that video. So basically, uh, we're gonna just pull back a little bit. Whoa! Yep. Oh, what? Rusty's right behind you. Yeah. Rusty, can you move out of the way, please? He's gonna bark a few times. Okay. <laughs> so we are both wheelchair users and we both are our injury our spinal cord injury was is Pretty both similar. at the about the T seven level and both incomplete. Uh, yeah I know Pup Pup. Yeah we're doing Yeah I'm a I'm a T seven incomplete. Yeah. So it's about my feeling and movement kinda stops about here. Right. And same for me, I mean I was told T six eight, which um, I don't really <laughs> I was, it was never ex because I was injured so young, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But okay, okay, because I was injured when I was so young, it was, it was explained to my pup, pup, you gotta go. <laughs> Thank you. Right, let me get the door. Uh, yeah, that, that's good. Thank you. Um, so the like injury stuff was explained to my parents, but it was never really explained to me, and I get. When, while I was growing up, I got information from my parents and various sources and learning about my injury on my own and stuff like that. Um, but I don't remember where I was going with that. Anyway, um, so anyway, the whole point of this video is that even though our injuries are like the same or diagnosis. similar, right, uh, right, our diagnoses are similar, um, the <laughs> fact is that... <laughs> The fact is that we have very different experiences in terms of the injuries. Um, so I mentioned I was injured at six months old. I'm 37, about to be 38 next month. And uh, Tom? Yeah, I was uh, I was injured when I was 16. I'm 26 now, so that's uh, about 10 years. It'll be 11 in October. Um, okay, and oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, so along those lines for me there was really no adjustment period of like life before the injury and life af after the injury because I was six months old so I didn't really know what life w even was at that point um, yeah I mean I had an adjusting period um, took about you know, one to two years to stop being angry at the world um, but yeah I, I actually have a lot of friends now who were disabled since birth and I think that's what's interesting is that actually I I res I actually have more respect uh, to for people who have dealt with disability their entire life and the, and the way that people react to them um, I because to totally thought you were gonna diss me and be like no. I have no respect for no, you <laughs> no no it's, no because it's just like I I experienced you know a world walking and now I'm having to do something different but then I realized like. I mean, I, I, I had, I had, I was lucky enough to spend 16 years doing this. Imagine having to have dealt with this always. I mean, that, that's what I mean, and yeah, and that, and I think a lot of people miss that. They discount that for people who are disabled from birth. I, I get that, but I feel like the opposite way because I feel that the person who I am now is a, my injury is a big part of that. Not that it defines me, but like oh, different yes. choices that I made growing up, like. So personality-wise, I, I often wonder if I had been injured later in life, if I would be a different person. Ab than no, I I'm absolutely, out. I absolutely agree with that sentiment. Um, I mean, it's what I what I am saying is that I think it's uh, it's more credit and more adjustment that needs to be done than we think, because um, but it's it's adjustment since birth rather than and and therefore it doesn't look like adjustment. And another thing we should talk about too is my injury happened in nineteen. 
82. Right. So the acceptance or, first of all, the acceptance of disabilities wasn't what it is now. The accessibility of medicine. a lot of places, medicine, uh, so yeah. your injury happened in... 2009. 2009. So there's, you know, a, quite a difference in terms yeah. of that even. Yeah. Um, but yeah, on, on, on your sentiment about the disability, I, 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 I very rarely center anything around my disability. I almost never think about it until it, it be, until it literally is the it's, issue. It, right, right, right. I get um, that. But I have heard, I mean, like, I wouldn't, like, if I had to give everything back that, um, that I may have gained from being disabled, most of, most of which is insight mm -hmm. into life and, um, just a, a mainly perspective. Like I am, I have never been more happier in my life and more grateful for the things that I have, um, because I might. I mean, I I had a lot of things going easy for me before, okay. And quite frankly, I still have I, I still have it easy. Like I think a lot of things come very easy to me. I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. I have a solid job. I, you know, I have uh, other than my physical disability, I have extremely good health. I I can eat whatever I want and somehow. <laughs> I, nice. I somehow my metabolism keeps up. That might change it when may. you hit thirty-five or so. Oh, Just a course. warning. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna get a belly. I know. Yep. Oh. It it happens unfortunately, oh, yeah. but like but but keeping on top of that now yeah. will help later Absolutely. for sure. Yeah, got friends who can tell me more about that. Yeah. Um. So okay, moving on a little bit. So we're going to talk about um our uh, level of movement and sensation below the injury. Um, and then also a little bit about mobility uh, aside from the wheelchair. So I don't know if you want to start. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, when I was first diagnosed in the hospital, with my, they said I was a T7 complete. Okay. Um, and they did that Asia test on me where they pricked me with a pin and stuff. And, yeah, I mean, acute injury-wise, I had zero sensation, zero movement um, of anything below my... Um, I guess thoracic though, mm -hmm. and right in my injury, I had I had my spine was shattered, so I did have to get um, uh, rods placed um, in in put, yeah, it's which pretty, I said was pretty cool. It is. I, no, mean. It's neat. I, I mean, they're two gigantic like titanium rods. Yeah. Um, you can even feel them and see them on my back. Um, but yeah, I was told that I, I'll never, I may never walk again and, and feel. But about a month after the injury, um, I was experiencing excruciating pressure pain oh. from the setting and uh -huh. it I was always saying it equates to burning like it literally felt like a lighter huh. um, and I, I honestly don't think that that interpretation of the pain has actually changed it's just I've learned to deal with it mm. because it's not going anywhere right now and we'll have more on that pain right. stuff in a little bit yeah but continuing yeah and so um, that's when I realized like I mean I'm clearly incomplete mm -hmm. um, I also have uh, you know minor things where if I kind of sit and look at my foot for like 30 seconds it might start like twitching it, okay. it's not controlled at all but um and like I have like I've shown before some toes I can move on my feet I can't actually move my legs but some of the toes I can which is really weird but that's just how my body is and it also has to I think do with the fact that um the way our injuries occurred so my injury was um basically not that my spinal cord was severed or anything like that but that not enough oxygen was getting into different parts of my body and that is what caused the spinal cord injury whereas yours was was a bruise or a cut that happened to my spine okay so yeah um sorry i didn't mean to interrupt there i just happened to think of that so so now would you say like for me since i mean they say like the injury is right like around this level, but yeah, I can flex my abdominal muscles. Yeah, I'm not able to. I okay. can. Well, I can do the the top f muscles, something that like even an, an a talented person probably couldn't do because <laughs> you know, it's hard to flex just the right. top ones. Right, right, but if right. I, if like I flex the, eight, the top of the eight pack, the top of the eight, yes, yeah, it's just like that, and then okay. I can I can make the inner muscles somewhat hard, mm -hmm. but the outer uh, abdominals I can't. Okay, um, and in terms of sensation like below the injury for me the further you to go down for the most part the less the sensation i have okay so i always say like if i'm testing um water with my toe like some people do like to see if the 
bathwater is hot or whatever. Right. It has to be like scalding for me to even notice. Oh. Um, but for, although when I did break my ankle, it hurt like a motherfucker. I will say that. <laughs> Sorry for the language, but yeah. it really hurt. Um, but like up here, it's very close to full sensation, oh. I would say. Okay. Um, so it's so. What's right. your experience with that? Um, so like, yeah, I I have a very interesting thing. So like, I, my my lower body, I mean, around this level, um, and yes, it looks like I have a belly, and I may I may actually have oh, a belly. Sorry, no, I fine. get that for you. That's fine. Um, I may have a belly, but it's actually it's because I have very little lumbar support, and I've been trying to get a chair that helps me sit up straight. Um, which I know posture wise would help also with pain and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but right now it's what's I think what my medical friends would say is I sit um, with la lazy lumbar support or slouching lumbar support. So um, so the rods that you have, they don't go down all the way. No, They're they, just for the missing the, like, so it's about from here to here as I have okay. And for me, and we'll show you the scars, I guess later. Um, but my bars go all the way down, which means oh. I cannot bend my back, like, at all. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you have, you have bars as well? Yep. I'm starting, like, up here. Cool. I'm just... So starting, like, right, right around here or uh -huh. so, and it, they go down all the way, wow. basically, to my butt. Yeah. And the reason I have the bars is because the scoliosis was so bad that, like, my spine was like this. Mm. Okay. So they needed to straighten it out, like, at least to that. Gotcha. Um, so initially, I did not have bars when I was very young. I had a body jacket that kept me straight. Okay. And then I got the bars, and I've done a video about this, but I got the bars, and they were like, you don't need the body jacket anymore. And I was like, but I, I'm so used to it. I, yeah. I like it. Yeah. It took me a while to, to get used to not having it. It sure. was like a crutch in a way. But uh yeah, not really. But it, it works. <laughs> um, yeah, but sensation-wise, so like right here, um, like from about here to here, I can feel um, I mean, my skin touch kind of stops about here. Okay. Um, and then I actually just have, I guess, nothing around here, which is odd. Mm -hmm. um, but then from my waist down, like from literally waist down, um, I, my legs are constantly tingling, like um, the same feeling you have when your arm or something falls asleep. Right, right. So gotcha. I, twenty four seven, my legs feel like they're asleep. Now I know people say, "Oh, that'd be so annoying." It's like it's it's really just I feel like they're, it's that tingly prickly feeling all the time. Hmm. But that's but it, not you nearly yeah. desensitized yeah. in a way. Um, yeah, and I can almost. Um, I've also got full uh, kin kinesiology or kinesthetics. I don't know the word, but. Can you, uh, that's the the science of knowing where a, an, a body your body part is without having to see it. Okay. So yeah. like I can know that my right hand here, my left hand here, and that's why I can clap with my eyes closed. Right, right, because right. Because I know where my 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 organs are or extremities are in relation to me, and I can tell that with my legs. Mm -hmm. So I can tell like my left leg is tingling, but I can also kind of actually tell the position of my leg and my foot, mm -hmm. um, which is interesting. Um, I have very limited sensation in very various spots. So, like on the inside of my knee, um, I can actually sometimes feel the skin. It's not like f actually skin feel. It's really just like um, there is something, something touching. There's some some signal okay. being uh, being uh, caught, um, mm -hmm. as well as like um, deep bone. I can if I hit a bone, I can definitely feel that. Um, mm -hmm. But for the most part, that and yeah, and I have no motor control. Um, really um and if we wanted we could also um we might talk about dating later i mean we can talk about like yeah uh, like sexual like sure like, what we can and can't do right um, um and just building on like the the like varying levels of sensation like the tingling and then the other like not really even sure to describe it but like when i got the tattoo yeah and i did a video about this but like did that hurt it did, but oh. only parts of it. Interesting. Yeah. So it like, watching. Yeah. So so they would start. They started doing it, and I didn't feel anything. And then I was like, whoa! And yeah. then I didn't feel anything again. And it's just like, huh. so it was it was huh. kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, now that's uh, speaking of pain, like that's that's actually the major issue for me is I have and I mentioned before I have pressure pain, um, just from sitting all the time. Yeah. I, I believe because. Um, I, before even my injury, I couldn't sit in a car for like three hours without my butt getting sore. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually have gone to great lengths, because it saps my energy, I've gone to great lengths to 
um, go to doctors. I even had them uh, inject cort cortical steroids um, directly into the ischial bursa, the site of where I'm feeling the pain. Yeah. And it was gone for the length of time that the cortical, like, the pain went away. Huh. So clearly, the, d the medicine designed to relieve pain relieved pain. Yeah. So it tells me that it was real pain. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't be shooting up on cortical steroids every day. <laughs> of course not. Um, that's just not healthy. So, yeah. I mean, I, and, and, and for that reason, unfortunately, like, I mean, I work really long hours. I'll sometimes work 50, 60 hours a week. Mm -hmm. I will then spend my entire, well, I go home and I lie my stomach until I go to work um, the next day. And on my weekends, I tend to spend my entire weekend on my stomach. And that's not what I would like to be doing, um, but the pain has been dictating but a lot you, of that. You have, right, you do what you have to do. Yeah. And so for me, um, for the most part, I rarely need to take breaks from my wheelchair. I mean, I could sit in it all day, every day, if I had to. Obviously, I'd get out to sleep and whatnot. And interestingly enough, I do sleep on my stomach rather than my back, but that's only because I have tr trouble falling asleep on my back oh, okay. rather than, like, pain issues. Right. Um, but it's very rare. I would say it's only maybe two, three, maybe four times a year that... I have that my my butt or lower back hurts so much that I just need to get out of the wheelchair and lie down. Um, so again, that's another like difference between our injuries, even though technically they're similar. Um, Very jealous. <laughs> well, I mean, at the same time, uh, because of the pain, I'm always shifting my weight. So I've never had any pressure sore related issues. Mm -hmm. Um, and me too, thankfully. Thankfully, yeah. thankfully no, nothing Fingers yet. I mean, hopefully never, way. but yeah, yeah exactly. Like yeah. Um, and actually, interestingly enough, uh, I mentioned in my last, or well, I'm actually not sure when I'm going to upload this video, but in, I think, my a video around New Year's of 2020, I mentioned that my dad was in the hospital for uh, an extended stay, and he ended up getting a pressure sore on his lower back. And you know that's like that's a real bitch to yeah. deal with, especially um, when you can feel it too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, in in some sense, it's better if you can feel it because like you'll know it's there. But like on that. the other hand, like it's some days it that's has good. really, really bothered him. That's gonna be excruciating. Yeah. So, um, anyway, um, do you want to start with this or? Well, I actually have to go to the bathroom. So. You do. Okay. Shall we like demonstrate? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, why don't we pause the video? Yeah. You can do that, and then we'll... Okay, so we, we will be back in just a second. And we're back. Um, so that leads directly into our next topic of uh, bathroom stuff. Um, so I don't I don't cath, and I don't have... I don't really have a bowel program, per right. se. Uh, but, like, so typically what happens for me um, is I get up in the morning. I usually have to pee immediately. Um, and then about 10, 15, 20 minutes after that, I'll have to, uh, poop. Uh, so that's pretty much normal for me. Occasionally it will take m longer than that. Sometimes it's like an hour later that I poop. Um, and usually what happens is if it doesn't happen by after an hour of being up, it's usually not going to happen. So it'll just happen the next day. Um, most of the time I go every morning though, um, but, oh yeah, so, but that's not the case for you. Yeah, um, and for those who may not be familiar, I mean, because not every, I guess not, but obviously not every paraplegic needs to catheterize or cath, um, so catheter, I, yeah. I have been told that I'm, uh, unusual okay. by many, many people. I don't know how accurate that is, right. but, um, but again, People have told me, oh, wow, that's that's not common. Right. So, so I actually, I mean, I've, I self-catheterize, so I always carry catheters with me instead of having a, an indwelling catheter with a bag. Um, to me, it's just, it's more hygienic and just, mm -hmm. um, but it's also, you have to be more sterile. Um, then again, it is e it's just as, it's, if not easier to get an UTI with an indwelling catheter if you don't care, take care for your hygiene. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean... I'm strange because I I eat only like one or two meals a day, um, so I only use I only have to go number two like every other day. Okay. Um, now sometimes with that it was pretty interesting. So it's, what's neat is like I'm incomplete, so I can usually tell when I need to use the bathroom, like I did a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. um, because probably I'm not sure entirely how healthy that is because that I get this tingly thing, and I know that if I don't pee within like 10-15 minutes, I'm just gonna wet myself. Mm -hmm. um, but 
for that to happen, I'm assuming, like, if I actually could feel my body, I'm probably, I mean, uh, getting what's called autonomic dysreflexia. Yeah, um, So right. I'm probably getting to the edge of that. Yes. But because I end up voiding instead or going pee, mm-hmm. um, I, and I'm lazy, uh, <laughs> I've been going on that. Um, and the thing is, like, I don't seem to have a blood pressure risk because my body just decides to void instead of hold it in and get high blood pressure. With autonomic, okay, which would be very dangerous, right? So that's a good. Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. yeah, it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, and unfortunately, that's happened. But I'm usually pretty good at knowing beforehand when I need to go. I also take a medication called oxybutynin or ditropan, um, which is supposed to um, address neurogenic neurogenic bladder, so a spastic bladder basically. Okay. Um, so. The only downside to that is that it gives me extreme dry mouth. It's, it's designed to dehydrate you. So I'm always got dry mouth um, and whatnot. Uh, but when I'm, on, when I'm taking that reliably and I'm responsibly taking it every four, four to six hours that I should, uh-huh. um, I usually never have um, any, you know, uh, wetting myself issues um, and so forth. Okay. Now with bowel, bowel program, and I, I, I always find it funny that they call it bowel program just because or I continue to use call it bowel program because mm-hmm. it really is just pooping. But, right. um, but that's what they call it when you're in the hospital. And I, I guess even then you mention it enough with your family. So now anytime family talks about me going number two, it's always bowel program. But when someone tells it's pooping, it's like, and, and I'm not bothered by either. I just find it kind of, <laughs> fun. I just think it's funny. The um, first time I heard that term bowel program, I was like, what? I don't even know what that is. Like, yeah. Is there a menu like of what you're I mean, is there's like, like this checklist of what you're doing when you, I, uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Look who's that. It, it's the puppy. It's pups. Hey, what's up, Risky? Pupsky doodle. Did you want to get on camera? Pup, pup. Come on. Come are you well walked? Yeah, are you going to be quiet? We'll see. You're done? Okay. No, no, we're, no, 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 we're no. still going. Oh. Um, Rusty, Rusty. Rusty, go ahead. Rusty, Rusty go ahead, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, go, go. <laughs> uh, so anyway, back on track. We were talking about pooping yep. or bowel programs, yes. depending on what you like. Yeah, right. Um, or the party you're talking to. But a for, for when I go number two, which is like every other day. Now, what's interesting and also probably not healthy. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I'm now a bad example. I mean, don't tell me what I do, but um, I'm just uh, kind of well, describing. I mean, I've been told that a lot of my videos are bad examples for like, people who are, have disabilities so yeah we, um, we won't I'm, worry about that i'm not surprised that i'm <laughs> i mean that I'm, not, I'm not exactly the best example but sometimes like i'll actually know when i need to number two um but that's when i really should have probably gone before and i, I literally can go on the toilet and it just all comes out mm-hmm. but it you know i'm sure that that's probably not good um because i also remember using the bathroom and when i've had m- m- bowel movements of that size it hurt oh but now that i can't feel pain I'm wondering, that probably hurts, and uh, it's probably not good. So um, but I, no blood, no nothing, but it's just kind of, yeah. I, I don't, um, I have no idea if this is related to injury at all, but like when I was younger, after I would, I, I didn't poop like regularly like I do now. When I was younger, so when I was younger and if I had, if I had like a big poop, I would get like super, I would feel sick like after the poop like 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 energy was taken out of me like if you've ever seen the princess bride yeah um <laughs> that sort of uh a machine that carrie Elwes is on that's yeah. taking the life energy out yeah. of yeah that's what it felt like oh, i was wow. like i just felt like i was completely drained, drained. Of energy. yeah wow. anyway but anyway sorry. Yeah, yeah no on, <laughs> but to be normally what i do is just like every other day um i'll use what's called the magic bullet suppository um i think that's sold by uh, con- confidence in it was a, it's a, it's a, it's a something in confidence company. It's it's a it used to just only be on their site and now they do sell on Amazon, which makes it a lot easier. Oh okay. Nice. Um, and it, I literally that turns my bowel programs or bowel movements into like uh, anywhere from like twenty to thirty minutes, and it just I'm clean, like it's good. Um, so that's really eased my that process because I don't I don't like having also when it, I have trouble sleeping if I like need to. Yeah, go number two, and I didn't realize it. Mm-hmm. Um, right. So yeah, that's really eased my bowel movements um, and stuff. But yeah, um, and I'm glad that I don't have to go using a glove and doing digital stimulation and just right. That. I'm right. glad that I don't have to do that. 
And I, something I um, forgot to mention about my pooing stuff is that, like, I had mentioned that typically I go every morning about, you know, 15-ish minutes after I, after I pee. But if I, if I can't get to the bathroom, if, like, if I feel the urge to go and then I can't get to the bathroom within a few minutes, I will probably poop myself because I have no control of the muscles down there. Like, uh, holding it in is only happens for a very, very limited amount of time. Um, so basically what I'm saying is like, I know when I get up in the morning, I have to stay in the house or, or stay at least close to a bathroom for a certain period of time until I feel like I'm done going. And typically I can, typically I know when that is. It's very rare that like, I'll think I'm done going and then I'll go out do stuff and be like, oh shit, I still have to go. Uh, that doesn't happen often, but every once in a while, um, but again, that's why, like, when you have a disability like ours, like, first thing you do when you go somewhere, you check out the bathroom, you make sure it's accessible. You, it's it's um, it's just part of our life. Yeah. Well, I mean, and actually, I, I wonder if people in general could benefit from this, because I usually, like, if I know I'm going to be traveling, like, when I was going to come here to Florida from D.C., mm -hmm. um, I can literally <clears throat> plan, I can force a bowel movement with the magic bullet as okay. close to the as close to the trip as possible so that That's I know that I'm true. empty. That's and yeah, true. and it's, it's and it, it does the trick. It forces the bowel movement. It, it moves everything in my large intestines down mm -hmm. um, and gets it cleared out. So I I always do that before any kind of trip, and the fact that I can force that to happen is nice. Yeah. Um, and I feel true. like it would I mean, be helpful for anybody. Yeah. It would be helpful, uh, for sure. I, I never even thought about that, but like... I used to do trips to Europe back and forth, and I never thought about that. I would always plan the trip so that, like, I would know I'd be done with the bathroom by the time I had to get on the plane. Right. Of course, like, like coming back, it was an issue because typically you can get planes that go to Europe at, like, 8, 9 o'clock at night, so I'm done going to the bathroom by then. But coming back, it's usually, like, 4, 5, 6 in the morning, mm. and... And by that time, my body's all screwed up because of time zones and everything, anyway. But right, right, right. Um, so I, I think we've covered yeah, that's about we've covered poop enough. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> enough time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we can move on to uh, driving yep. and all that goes with, along with that. Yeah, you want to start? I drive a Honda, a 2014 Honda Accord uh, EXL V6. Ooh, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> now a couple of things I'll mention about that that I really like. Um, it was it has every electronic gadget in it, which made it really expensive. But it turned out that I actually found pretty good uses for them. For example, the the driver's seat has a has a has a preset one and two setting mm -hmm. um, that you electrically program. Like you just set it, and then you program it into one and two. Um, and when you open the driver door, it automatically goes to number two. Like I didn't add that feature. Like it's just we're still it, talking about number two. Yeah, we are. We are. It goes to setting number two, which is my lo which is the loading position. So it immediately goes into the loading position. I hop in. I take my chair, flip it upside down, take off the wheels, throw those behind me, and then I can look, pull the chair in front of me and into the back seat. Um, and then I hit one, which is driving, and then my chair immediately just goes back to the memorized programmed position for driving. Um, Fancy. Yeah, and I just my never. Car's too dumb to do that. <laughs> right. Well, no. I and I. Well, I was paying. I'm still paying for the paying for this mm -hmm. feature, but right. I didn't realize just how nice it was going to be. So it's. I don't. I don't have to necessarily drive a larger car, but I did have to find a large enough car because there were some car some sedans that just did not have the clear height clearance that I needed to bring something over me. Okay. Um. But yeah, the Honda Accord, uh, and it's a two door coupe. Um, worked very nicely for that. Although, um, I have been trying the same exact method now that I've perfected it and in the process destroyed my car, but um, <laughs> I've actually tried this with other cars, including SUVs, um, and I can actually still load it in the exact same okay. way, That's um, cool. just as long as the car is big enough versus small enough. So. And regarding the electronics, your hand controls yeah. are completely electric, S whereas yes. mine are mechanical, like they actually push the, the pedals down when I use them. Right. Well, his don't. Yeah. So mine, when I accelerate, the I guess Mobility Works is the company that installed them into my car. Same. Um, but these ones are, I mean, you gently press the acceleration, and that that is the it electrically goes into the, the computer of the car and accelerates that way. Mm -hmm. When I press on it, it does press the actual brake. Um, oh, okay. So yes. the gas is but the electric. Gas, the I gas, gotcha. is, the acceleration and gas is electric, which is really neat because I've. 
I'd only driven with that, and then I rented a car here last year and realized that they just that the other kind doesn't do that, where it actually presses the acceleration. So I end up having to push or pull a little bit harder mm -hmm. than usual. But it, I mean, it's not hard to adjust to. But I do realize I've I've come to prefer the electrical one because you can you can ramp up. the ramping up is a lot more intuitive. Okay. Um, and we both do use um, pull for gas yeah. and push for brake. Yeah. Um, do you use the knob at all? Uh, I use it most of the time. I don't. There are times when I feel more comfortable certain turns right. just using the steering wheel, but I would say I, I use it uh, most of the time, although it does, sometimes it feels like it's in the way, in the way. but uh, in general, it's it's pretty handy for yeah. me. I mean, I, I practice <coughs> learning to drive without, or make turns without the knob okay. uh, recently just because I know that of the times we've rented, right. they never supply a knob. Or, um, or hand controls for, yeah. at all. For, at all. For well, that then we have to wait an extra 30 minutes, but <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, um, so my, did you have more yeah. there? Oh, I was just going to say, so you see, I, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen videos of my cars. I have, um, you know, the wheelchair vans with the ramp and, but I also have my, uh, small Saturn coupe and they that, don't make those anymore. they don't make those anymore. So, um, and no other company makes, uh, a car that is designed the same way on the inside with the suicide door. Yeah. So so basically, when like the last when I needed a new car, the last time I had to search and search and search for used um, 2001. I mean they they made them in 2002 also and in 2000, but um, I had to search for a used one with like low mileage because the convenience of loading my chair into my car without having to break it down at all is just something I don't want to lose right. so um so basically until somebody else hey car manufacturers how about you design another car that has a suicide door so i can load my chair you know that would be awesome and it would help a lot of other people too but um yeah so that's that's really really important for me and i did uh i did search i mean i looked at other cars but and i there i was close to getting um there was a hyundai tiburon Mm -hmm. Which I was able to load my chair in, but I had to I had to take the wheels off, and I was just like, it's it, it, it's it's yeah. a pain, you know. Yeah, I'm doing it now, and I'm lifting my chair in, and I'm only 26. But the other day I got like this really bad crick in my shoulder, and I'm like, oh, it's already happening. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> and so I mean, so that that convenience for me is just something I don't want to give up. And also the fact that although driving a van is easier, it's also uh, I feel less comfortable in the van. The Saturn is much more comfortable for me to drive. I like how it handles better than more the van. Responsive too. Yeah, and uh, the other thing is like my it doesn't it doesn't seem like it would make sense, but my Saturn is more accessible in the sense that if I'm driving the van, I have to use the ramp to get out of the to get out of it. So that means there can't be anyone parked next to me. But if I'm using the Saturn, someone can be parked closer than they can with the ramp because I don't have to open my door all the way to get uh -huh. the chair out. So, so there's that. So like very often, if I know I'm going to a place that's going to be crowded and parking is going to be an issue, I'll take the Saturn instead of taking the van. Um, yeah, it's just like all things you have to think about. Um, you could probably talk about getting dressed first and we can show the scars at the end. If you want. That's a good call. Okay. Um, so... If we've covered driving other than people always stealing handicap placards. Right, and selling them on Amazon, yeah. apparently. I'm not This really, video yeah. is not sponsored by Amazon and is or not sponsored by Magic Bullet suppositories oh, yeah. or, or the ADA or right. like, so, okay, anyway. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we could, we'll probably move on to dress, getting dressed. Yes. I mean, I actually, I mean, I was taught to get dressed in bed, but I prefer getting dressed entirely in my chair. It's just I have better balance lumbar support wise. Okay. Um, when putting things on now that has resulted if I don't because I have to I I will yank when I'm pulling up my pants I yank them up from from the back and if I don't lift myself up too much I, that that's the end of those pants. I I've experienced that yeah. although not in the same way. Mm. Um, I've gotten tears on a lot of jeans sure. from doing it the way I do it on the floor like right after I get off the toilet. Mm -hmm. And I pull the jeans up, but if I don't, so if I don't pull like the cuffs of the jeans up here, yeah, they sometimes like get stuck on the floor or oh. on my shoe or something, and then shh, and I'm like, damn it, 
Yikes. So, yeah, I feel that. Mm -hmm. Um, But continue. Sorry. Yeah, no, I mean, I... There's not much more to it. I usually just get dressed in bed. I prefer, like, wearing button-downs because they have a chest pocket, usually, and I can put my phone there. Okay. Um, but other than that, like, I mean, um, dressing has been primarily in my chair. I just feel like I don't have the right balance when I'm in the when in my bed. Okay. Um, and I have been wearing compression socks to kind of just help with the circulation. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not wearing them today, but um, mm-hmm. I usually wear those, too, because my legs will sometimes feel cold. Um, Very, yeah, my yeah. legs are all, I mean, yeah, unless it's like, and big, big reason why I'm in Florida for the winter, but yeah. unless it's like at least 75 degrees or so, my legs are going to be like ice cold. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, so yeah. there's a similarity for yeah. us, you know, um, circulation and whatnot. So for me, I mentioned, um, and I think I've shown, I've actually done a video of me getting dressed, but it wasn't, I mean, it was sort of accurate because I do sometimes do it in my wheelchair but more often than not what I do is I put pants um, on the counter by my toilet in the morning so after I'm done pooing I put the pants on I get on the floor I pull the pants up and then I get back in my wheelchair because that's what works for me best getting dressed in my wheelchair is more problematic for me because uh, of the balance issues of turning around and balancing on one hand to pull up my pants it's just like I would rather not have to do that because then I sometimes if I do that too much I get wrist pain Mm -hmm. and then I'm dealing with wrist pain for an extended amount of time Um, sometimes like and even like it's not so much getting dressed but like in the middle of the night if I get up to pee um, for a while, I was not wearing pajamas, but now that I'm wearing pajama, per, per pajamas, pajamas, yeah, pajamas. Uh, now that I'm wearing pajamas, uh, what I do is I'll do my business, not even bother getting on the floor to p- p- pull up my pants, not pull up my pants from my wheelchair. I'll just get back in bed, and when I'm in bed, that's when I pull up my pants because I'm just like, you know, I'm not gonna take the time out to get on the floor, get back in my wheelchair. It's just it's quicker just to go right to the bed to do it. Um, so this kind of is a testament to that not every disability, no matter how the origin is simple, is similar. Yeah. Um, they can be relatively very different, or people uh, prefer different ways of doing the same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's really what works for you. Yeah, and, and and that's why, like, very often if I get questions like, "How would you suggest doing this or this or this?" I'm like, "You really have to, you really have to work, figure it out for yourself because that's." That's essentially how I did a lot of stuff. I mean, stuff that they taught me in when I did therapy as a kid doesn't necessarily work for me now. Maybe it did then. Or stuff that they taught me um, then didn't work for me then, but maybe it works for me now. It's just, and then maybe there's something else completely different that they didn't teach me, or you, or anyone. Right. Um, it's just you. You do. You do what you need to do, basically. Right. Also, when um, when showering, do you use like a, a shower chair, or do you sit in the, the shower? I sit in the shower, um, and I have an old wheelchair seat cushion in the shower. So basically, I sit on that mainly because if I don't do that, then because my butt is like crooked, mm-hmm. I'll have issues with balancing. Okay. So if I'm sitting in the shower chair. I have two hands to wash with. Right. If I'm not, then I have to balance with one hand, and then I've only got one hand to wash with, so it's right. just a little easier that way. Okay. Um, yeah. So I mean, I I've used, I've gotten used to using a shower chair, um, in my shower. Now there were I did I went through two types. One that is partly outside of the shower. Um, okay. So you like transfer onto it onto and then, then the scoot over. Yeah. Um, and then I realized that every time I took a shower, my entire bat my entire bathroom flooded. Um, and mm-hmm. it was almost unavoidable, so I did get a, a smaller one that goes inside. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm starting to realize, like, because I've tried ones that actually have like a cutout and they are made of cushion. I kind of want to go back to that just because I know that's probably better for my my rear. Yeah, um, yeah, true. But also, you can get you can clean under yourself um, rather than the ones that are flat that you get at like hotels. Um, right, true. Where you really can't clean under you, or, right, and you hope the water gets there, but you know. And so actually, on that note, we, we failed to talk about mobility out of the chair Sure. when we were talking, we had that down on our mm-hmm. like sort of list here, but we, we missed it. 
Um, so you were mentioning about like the ability to clean like under yourself right. under the chair. So like for me, all I have to do is like scoop myself around a little bit, and I can do that. But yeah. that might not be possible for everyone. Right. I mean, it's it's. I mean, the, the well, so the shower chair I use doesn't have um, like armrests. So um, I used because when I used with my parents, they the shower chair they had there had armrests and. That makes that's a whole lot easier to to like bear your weight on and lift right. your body and things like that. It also did have a cutout on the on the bottom, um, but I have to also make sure like I'm gonna have to try different shower chair chairs that can fit in my tub. Um, now when I've been at hotels that don't have uh, shower chairs or don't have wall chairs and things like that, mm -hmm. um, as long as they have a tub, I'm usually okay because I can throw a bunch of towels down on the bottom and then sit on the towels. Um, gotcha. But yeah, so I mean mobility wise, I I don't usually get out of the chair much um i rarely ever crawl anywhere um just because for me it's um i'm very concerned about my knees and i also have and i don't have a lot of hip control mm -hmm. um but um yeah so like normally i'm I, I like to be able to um i mean i don't use the armrest for the wheelchair anymore because then i can't pick things up um I have and they just yeah. sort of got in the way for me and I was yep. uh, same reason with my seatbelt I was just like yeah that too you know it's 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 more of a hassle than a help so. yeah um, and I think the I mean I, my only um, well, sometimes what can be frustrating sometimes is the fact that I can't um, pick objects up from the ground with both hands um, I always have to use one other arm to lift the, my my torso back up yep yep um, yep yep and that's why and that's why like for me for example if I'm walking rusty, I need to make sure that if I'm picking up his poop, it's on the right side because I can lift myself back up with my left hand. If it's on the left side, I can't reach down far enough yeah. and still be able to pick myself back up. Right. So it's, you know, things you have to think about. Um, yeah, but seeing, uh, seeing Joseph walk rusty, I mean, I've been thinking of getting a dog myself, so I know it's doable. Mm, yeah. Um, so and I think that'd be good to get a companion like that. Just as long as he doesn't hump you when you cry, <laughs> like mine does. No. Um, sorry, we were just talking about. Yeah. We were just talking about that. Um, Accessibility. Yes. Oh, uh, do you want to? When do you want to do scars? Do you want to do that I was at, the at the end? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, go go for it. So Accessibility scars. experiences. Actually, I think maybe I should start go for with it. that only because when when Tom first came to visit last year. I didn't really think like, oh, is my condo going to be accessible for him? Because it's accessible for me. As it turned out, it's not completely accessible for him because our wheelchairs are different sizes. So although he was able to get in the front door and the back door and most of the rooms, the bathrooms actually have are smaller doors, so he wasn't able to get in them, which I had, you know, I didn't think about because like it works for me. It doesn't work for everyone. Yeah. Uh, so I have a 28 inch width. Um, so most bathroom doors can be 24 inches in really old in older constructions. Yeah. Um, if it's not built after 2000, it's probably going to have a bathroom door somewhere where it's only 24 inches wide. And this this was built, I think, in like 1970-ish. So that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and my chair, we actually just measured before the video, so that's why we're precise on this. My chair is, uh, I think, 22 inches, uh, which is the smallest available if you're not getting into like children's wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. um, but on that note, like I buy, I have to shop in the kids section when I buy pants um, because you know, my, my legs are small, my, my whole body is small. Um, I, I wear adult size shirts, but kid size pants and small sh smaller are you shoes. Are you gonna sell kid size merch as well? I, I do have kid size merch available. Perfect. Yes, thank you. There we go. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I guess is there anything well accessibility has been I mean this is probably the more prime time to address the, the handicap laggards I mean I yes I personally uh, went through the process of replacing my handicap laggard only for them to be stolen twice in the mail before it reached me um, I had to get three replacements before I one of them actually reached my UPS U, UP, USPS mail um, so that was just kind of disconcerting and, as, and a little bit annoying, but also as, uh, um, what you call it, it's also um, realizing that um, there are even fakes being sold on Amazon is kind of right. ridiculous. Yeah, um, but it, it, it is ridiculous. It is this and world, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's the world we live in. Fake fake news, fake yeah, head fake flaggers, <laughs> yeah. and you know, yeah. facts don't matter. Authentic authenticity doesn't matter. But if you see this video on any channel other than Wheels of Fortune, it's not <laughs> authentic. So yes, report that. Okay, absolutely. Um, <laughs> okay. Anyway, we uh, we skipped over specificity. Yeah, we did skip over that. Okay. So we might as well just do that now, mm -hmm. I guess, before moving. Oh, we yeah. actually did. okay. So yeah, we'll we got that we'll and split. dating, yeah. and then. Okay, yeah, cool. Again, yeah. Right. Cool. So, I mean, um, like any, like most paraplegics, um, I mean, I have typical spasticity, mostly as the stretch reflex, as I was told. So, like, anytime um, I have a stretch reflex that would happen normally below the level of injury, it will trigger spasticity. So, like, when I go from sitting to lying down, my legs will go, <laughs> like, they'll, they'll do a little dance kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, it, as I, I take, uh, once again, another medication called um, baclofen, um, which is designed to handle that, or, or just manage that spasticity. Um, but I also, I mean, I, I make sure not to miss that just because um, as much as the spasticity is actually really good for muscle contractions, um, it's not the greatest um, if I'm like doing like a transfer and I just, my legs want to kick me out of my chair. Oh, sure. Um, so yeah, and also I just don't like it when my legs are always bouncing and then falling off the foot plate while I'm moving. Um, now I, I might solve that by actually um, putting Velcro on the bottom of my shoes, hmm. um, but I just haven't gotten around to that. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I have regular spasticity in that sense. And for the most part, spasticity is not a bad thing just because it, it, it does mean muscle contractions and blood circulation. Sure, um, sure, and I don't, I don't really experience it much or at all. Um, like I, I've never had that feeling, like you say, where you're, you're, they're just like, yeah. Um, so I do. I mean, I have like, like I get muscle cramps mm. in my legs, which is, which are really annoying. Sure. Because like I, I don't get to like, walk, but I'm sure, I get muscle cramps. Why am I getting cramps? Yeah. <laughs> um, but in terms of spasticity. No, I haven't, I mean, I, I don't know if maybe that, because, like, there were certain issues that I dealt with as when I was younger that I don't deal with now, and there were certain issues, obviously, that I didn't deal with, with when I was younger that I am dealing with now. Right. So I don't know, like, I can't remember, I don't, I don't remember that ever being an issue, but I suppose it's possible in that, I, that it was maybe m m so minimal that I didn't realize it, um, but... M on the same note with the drugs, so you have you have medication for that. You have mm -hmm. medication for you said spastic bladder, right? For right. that, um, is are you is um, there anything well, else related to the uh, disability? Um, well, I mean, I have ADHD, so I have taken medications for that. <laughs> right, that's um, you know we can blame I, that on yeah, the wheelchair. Why sure, not? Why not? <laughs> it has a mind of its own. You there you go. You know, it's constantly changing topics. Come on now. Exactly. Um, um, but, um, you mentioned that you take a multivitamin. I do take a multivitamin, mm -hmm. uh, just something from Amazon. So right. So yeah. I um, I took a multivitamin for a while, but then I scaled back, and I, uh, for a while I wasn't taking anything. Now I'm taking just a probiotic for general health stuff, um, and I found out that I get colds or flu and stuff like that way less often thanks to the probiotic. Um, and when I do get colds now, they're typically much much weaker than. Like before I was taking that um, but it's not it wasn't prescribed by a doctor or anything that's just on my own uh, what I was prescribed by a doctor or not prescribed but suggested from a doctor was uh, vitamin D because of the broken bone I had um, a few years ago um, he suggested taking that because um, basically I have this kind of like osteoporosis kind of thing that mostly women get but hey paraplegics and quadriplegics can also get it because they're not standing up and not weight building bearing. bone density and weight bearing and stuff like that yeah. so i'm taking that and i am obviously also trying to do stuff like get in my braces or get sunlight because sunlight is a thing that helps vitamin d yeah. um other than that um i take I'm taking a magnesium, low-dose magnesium supplement right now, but that's not really related to wheelchair or spinal cord injury stuff. Yeah. That's separate. It's good for muscles. And well, it's good for muscles, and it actually helps me poo. Okay. Like if I yep. if I ever do have a problem, which is not often, but um, yeah. and it's also good for sleep, yep. uh, health, and stuff like that. Uh, but I might I might just switch back to a multivitamin like you were doing because that 
then I'm covering all my bases. Make sure to use the promo code uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you get these vitamins yes, off of Use this referral link. <laughs> um, right. So I guess we got dating, dating, hobbies. dating so, well, okay. dating scars, or dating hobbies and then scars. Well, okay, scars are a must when I'm dating, so like... Right, because they're know attractive the, I want to know chicks. what battle... Right. Yeah, no, right, 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 right. Chicks dig scars. Yeah. I almost said dicks. Chick dicks, scars. Chick, oh, Dude, that would have been... Oh, I, and I just said it. Anyway, yeah, moving on. <laughs> we'll edit that out. Yeah. Not really, because I don't do video yeah. editing yeah. much. Uh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, well, dating's been interesting. Um, I mean, I've been using dating apps and whatnot, and I know we've talked about like our different uh, experiences with different dating apps and... Do we show a picture of our wheelchair or not? And I thought you were gonna say dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, I just got dicks on the oh, mind man. for what some the... reason. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's. I mean, right. I mean, because you have to be. I mean, you have to be on front with it. Yeah. And on one hand, at like the same time, at the same time, you don't want to be like, "This is who I am." Wheelchair is my yes. entire life. Yeah. Like you know, we have personalities and mm -hmm. we do other things. We have hobbies. Other than yes. <laughs> wheelchair users. Yeah, we have, we have hobbies <laughs> other than being wheelchair users, but... Um, yeah, so continue. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, dating, game-wise, has been interesting. I mean, I, I was... Um, it, I usually search for personality, but um, I know that we're in this generation, we're on a swipe by, you know, swipe on a look, dismiss by not, you know, by what you see. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's been, for me, it's been kind of an interesting experience. I mean, I'm not really like actively looking because I'm quite happy where I am right now I'm really passionate in my career um, but dating has been kind of interesting because it's just I'm surprised at because um, I was always told you know women are looking for someone with a good personality and whatnot but um, seems like quite a get you know the wheelchair seems to be quite a turn off to a lot of them um, yeah for, I mean I would say for sure um, and there's there's the whole thing with like at least you're weeding out I mean, people have said to me, like, well, at least you're weeding out the people who, who are, don't want to deal with that. Right. And I'm like, That's yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, but you're, still, that kind of sucks. There were, like, yeah, if there were enough, at least enough, that want were, you know. Right. Or, or maybe if, like, people were more okay with it. Yeah, then, that's true, too. You know, so... Um, I have used dating apps with very little success. Yeah, yeah. Um, got stood up a couple of times. That was awesome. Um, not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you stand up a person who uses a wheelchair. What the? Fuck? It was rude. Come on. So rude. I, have, I I actually have gone on dates with girls who didn't realize I was in a wheelchair until the date. And I'm like. <laughs> and I'm like oh man. If you're like. Well, I guess it's like too, it's like double sided because it's like. My, my first picture is just a head, it's like a headshot, like a mugshot. Sure. Uh, or like a portrait shot. It's your actual mugshot from when you were in jail, right? I wasn't going to say that, but uh, I don't know. No. Um, no. <laughs> it was just a shiv. Um, okay. Like, anyway. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, like my second picture is, I always make sure like my second or third picture, I mean, clearly has a picture of me with my wheelchair, yeah. Kelly. Um, so maybe they think it's a girlfriend. Right, his wheelchair does have a name. Mine does not. So hey, how about we have like a YouTube competition? You can all post comments and try to name my wheelchair, and I will pick the best one, yeah. like the one I like the most, or maybe the one that gets the most votes from other people. How about yeah. that? Most up likes. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, but I actually got a, a, went on a date, and she was like, "Oh, I didn't realize like." you were actually uh, in a wheelchair until after I looked at your Instagram, and then I was like, oh, he's kind of cute, we might as well meet. And then I was just like, I was, but I'm just like, you had no idea. I'm like, and then another one was, I mean, very cute girl, but she, and we were flirting back and forth through text quite well, and it was good chemistry texting. Cool. But, um, and then, actually, month, it took months later, because it took until that other date, that, with that chick who didn't know I was in a wheelchair, Yeah. I was like, Wait a minute, what? And so I, we were, I was I, I texted that girl I went on a date with a while ago who I was just like because it seemed like afterwards she was like you know it, I, I just like you know it seems like you know it really didn't really click I mean I'm still just trying to make friends around so I mean for cool is just like being friends you know yeah I'm, I'm you know like I'd be totally cool with that and she's like yeah, that's fine I mean I right. I prefer like being friends first I, or for, I mean ideally being friends first is, right. yeah, that's that that's what I like I agree um, but. That's when she responded and said, actually, I, I didn't know until I until we met on our first date. And I'm like, 
what the heck? Like women. There's, there's, well, I, like there's so many there's so many people that like see the first picture and then don't bother looking at anything else on at dating the rest, apps. I don't, yeah. I just feel like I don't I don't know if that's a testament to shallowness or lack of that lack thereof. Maybe they're trying not to be shallow. Yeah, I don't I don't I, know. By I not know. looking at all the photos, I, I don't know. But it was just kind of surprising that that would happen. So I mean, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. For for me, so as I mentioned, I've I've used dating apps very little success. Um, well, very little. I mean, I. If you get a, if you get someone to agree to a date and then they don't show up, is that a success or a failure? Uh, or it's kind of in between. It's their failure, yeah, right? Excuse so, me. Um, <laughs> so, so for for actual relationships, um, my first one, we actually did meet on a dating site. This was before like apps were really a big thing, um, and she kn she knew right away that I was a wheelchair user and it didn't seem to bother her um, while well it didn't bother her at first and then slowly like there were some snide comments about certain things and I was just like oh this is that's so tell me how you really is, feel yeah this is not cool and then after we broke up that's when like that's when I really heard it, so I was oh, like, oh, that's, that's awesome, so thank you so much. No, it exposes who she was. Right, so, um, so then my second rela second uh, relationship was came about because of YouTube. Um, I've mentioned this before, I've done videos, uh, or a video or about this before, but um, she watched some of my videos and was like, oh, wow, he's so cute, and, and I am. Uh. <laughs> 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 uh, but no, she was like, he's so cute, and like, uh, I, you know, his personality, he plays guitar, he plays piano, blah, 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 blah. Um, and so we, she, she messaged me on, uh, on YouTube, and that's back when, like, are you, I don't think YouTube messages are still a thing, are they? Yeah, you can, you can direct message. You can? Okay. Yeah. Well, um. I thought you were going to ask if I was born yet. <laughs> I'm like I'm not that young. <laughs> oh, um, well, I didn't. I didn't have like I didn't really actually start dating until I was 27. Oh, okay. Because I've, as I mentioned to you the other day, like from the time I was seven till like, about the time I was 26, 27, I like didn't like myself because mm. of body issues and okay. disability and stuff. Right. So, uh, but anyway, um, so she messaged me on YouTube, and then we started emailing each other. And then we became Facebook friends and started messaging each other. Like that. And then we like started messaging each other on our phones. Um, and then we met, and blah 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 blah. Uh, we had an almost four-year relationship, although because it was long distance, we only saw each other. Yeah, it's it's tough, and we only saw each other. You know, for in a almost four-year relationship, we were only seeing each other maybe three times a year, for about. 10 days at a time. Um, although, during the summer, we were able to see each other more because she was a teacher, so she had summers off, which was nice. Um, but, like, the travel, A, it's difficult. Long distance relationships are difficult to begin with, but man, when you're dealing with an eight hour plane ride and uh, a disability, you know, using a wheelchair, that's just, it's, it's really, really, really tough. Um, now, granted, we had we had other issues that led to our breakup anyway, but um, so we about the personal details. Yeah. Um, so my next relationship was not because of the internet at all. First relationship that occurred that way, um, uh, it was because of uh, one of my other hobbies, uh, theater, and uh, we met doing theater, uh, and that didn't work out either. But hey, what are you going to do? Uh, that's how life is. You can't expect all. Of, you can't expect to marry all of your girlfriends. Well, I, a, if you're gonna I be am Mormon, so no, 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 I'm not Mormon. No, but <laughs> you're only gonna, you're only going to end up marrying one. I, uh, I, I, that would be the idea. Well, well, plural marriage. I mean, yeah. kind of want a harem actually. A harem, a brothel. A, yeah, why not? I mean, <laughs> what's it going to be called though? I, <laughs> I <laughs> you got to create some some creative, like. <laughs> Like I, I always spinning, say, spinning <laughs> Cinderellas or something. <laughs> I always say the only thing better than one one woman, one woman, yeah, one woman, one woman is two, two woman, two right, and the only thing better than two is three. Yeah, 
and, and it follows. But anyway, enough about my yeah. uh, debauchery. Well, uh, my he's, it mind. seems uh, yeah. Joseph has a lot of experience with women. I have a lot of experience with computers. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I've had a, I've had a share of but girlfriends for, after the injury, but but mm -hmm. for for real, um, computers like enhance our lives so much. I think we both agree on yeah. that. I mean, it makes this possible. Yeah, it makes this possible. So, um, so do you want to talk about your relationships? At well, all, I, I wanted, you wanted to finish your third one. Yeah. I think I was finished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, it was great for a while, and yeah. then it wasn't. And you know, any that, other prospects right happened. now? Or um, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll see. Guess we'll find know. out. Yeah. Uh, but like you, I'm kind of comfortable with where I'm at right yeah. now. Um, plus, I'm like. You know, my dad's sick right now, so I'm focused on taking care of him, stuff like that. Right. right. Um, but yeah, go ahead, continue. Yeah, no, I mean, I've had a handful of girlfriends after the injury um, that have, I, I mean, I had one immediately after the injury, which was probably not a good time for the other person, because I was going through some crap, and mm -hmm. um, they would probably have to deal with, you know, um, or I would take it out on thing take my things out on just whoever would listen or be there i've definitely done that I yeah think, yeah um but if it, and all in all like i've i've grown i feel like the disability has not just caused me to grow because i had I, I mean i had to choose to grow mm -hmm. um, but it, it has allowed me to grow in ways that i would not have expected and my outlook on life is um greatly enhanced and i only have gratitude uh, for almost anything i have um, and it's that to me is the most positive it is is so positive and nothing uh, can really make me want to trade that back. Even walking tomorrow, like, I would not trade that back if that was the cost. Um, and regarding the relationships, I I I know I know I know everybody doesn't have this, and this isn't really really related to the disability. But I have the uncanny ab ability to like break up, you know, when a relationships end, and just or even if like a date doesn't work out or something, just be like. Wow, you know what? I'm really thankful that like we were able to go out on that date, yeah. or able to have that relationship, able to have these experiences, like even though it doesn't work out. So I mean, that's again not really disability related. That's sort of just how I choose to look at things. Perspective. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I, I mean, I don't know, on my end, I've actually had to kind of learn that. Um, oh, I didn't. I, yeah. I, it wasn't always like that yeah. for me. So no, yeah. Yeah, I think because I, yeah. I a good. I mean, a good amount of time I would always take breakups very badly um, and now I've gotten a lot better at um, recognizing that um, everything has an end and hopefully you know if it's a good one um, that end is when you both die but if it isn't you know an end is a natural part of everything and also I mean if a relationship doesn't work out at least you hope you can learn from it and yes. grow yeah. so that a future relationship you know you can maybe not not make the same mistakes Absolutely. or maybe approach it differently and stuff like that right, right. Um, learn learn from it so that not only I mean you know breakups aren't always the other person's fault sometimes yeah. it's us and yeah. sometimes we need to learn and we need to grow yeah. so having failures allow you to grow yeah right constant success Absolutely. you're not you know you're not making any progress you're not growing Absolutely. Um, so, scars, other hobbies. Which one do you want to do first? Well, I, we've kind of worry in kind of other hobbies to some degree. Is dating a hobby? Uh, if, if wheelchair using is a hobby, I guess dating is a hobby. Well, I feel like dating, the dating hobby has been a lot less fruitful. Just, you know, I, I'd much rather prefer sticking to the wheelchair one. I mean, that's been more entertaining. Right, me. right, right. But, uh, and that, see, that hobby kind of gets in the way of the dating hobby. Yeah, it can cause it can. complications. It appears it does, but the, hum, the, the wheelchair <laughs> one is so much more fun. Mm -hmm, get, mm -hmm. I don't know, see, I have to give it up, I guess. We actually thought about um, taking up water skiing or snowboarding or oh, like t tennis, and we were just like, you know what? Wheelchairs just seem so yeah. much more fun. It's a much better sport. Yeah. So, no, so, like we, so we went with that. Professional, casual wheelchair using. Well, I, yeah, I'm keeping my amateur status so okay. that I can use a wheelchair in the Olympics. Oh, okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> um, but that's actually not really that good of a joke because there are there's like there are, yeah, there yeah. are Paralympics. Yeah, and, and, and like neither of us are fit <laughs> enough for it. No. Um, so anyway. But no, speaking um, of just, I mean, I don't know. I think one of the hobbies that we share is just dark humor. Yeah. Um, and funny jokes. Compu I mean, computer stuff too. Yeah. I mean, well, that's a job for you. It's yeah. more a hobby for me. Yeah. Um, um, well, I mean, YouTube is kind of a quasi yeah. job ish. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, I was gonna mention that, like, uh, in high school, 
Um, I was I was unanimously voted best ride as my senior superlative. Um, what does that mean? A senior superlative? No, no, no. What does best, best ride, ride mean? Well, it's supposed to mean like best car. Oh, but um, yeah. <laughs> I and, gotcha. I, and I, I went out and asked everyone, dude, vote me. Like, cause the girl had a Lamborghini, um, and I had me. Um, wow, did she invest like, in Bitcoin? I know. Right? <laughs> Lambo? Kind of, no, we all know. With Lambo? We all know that's her dad's. <laughs> um, this is high school, man. Like, oh. uh, but yeah, and th- my principal was like, that's like he wouldn't allow it in the yearbook. And I was like, dude, why can't you just take a picture of me in her car? Like, wait, he wouldn't her. allow you, or he wouldn't allow the Lambo? The, the sol- he wouldn't allow the, sol- the the best me voted as best ride for my senior. Sp- I know. What? Oh, I'm come like, on. I'm like, I'm more offended by that. Like, that yes, that is offensive. Because I'm like, I literally asked them oh. to vote for me, and everyone was like, dude, that's so funny. We're gonna unanimously. Yeah. Now I can't show my kid in high school. This is your dad. Wait, <laughs> you, can't, you know, I got senior. That, super, yeah, senior oh, voted been... best ride. Wow. But, yeah. So, I mean, just... Party on, pooper. I know. Just on funny stories, if you have any, that was kind of one I was... Yeah, yeah. Throughout that, I was... I was... Uh, I actually... I was um, telling Rachel um, a couple of days ago... That's your nurse. That, the, the, uh, n- my dad. Yeah, my nurse. dad. Yeah. My dad's nurse um, right. at the rehab place. Um, I was telling her about, like, jokes that I play on people. And one time when I was doing a show, um, uh, a musical play... I was upstairs and the a set piece needed to be moved downstairs onto the stage and no one was with me in the room so I was like, hmm, what can I do to make this funny? So I got out of my wheelchair, turned the wheelchair on its side and pulled the set piece on top of me and when people came up they were like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and I'm just cracking up, laughing, laughing, laughing. So bad. And they, they were, they were, they were not happy. Oh, <laughs> it, was fu- it was funny for that me. Funny. So that yeah, funny. so I mean, constantly doing stuff. I don't like know, that. but the boy who cried wolf is <laughs> right. I'm the, bo- I'm the boy who cried. This is how I ended up <laughs> like, in a wheelchair, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like other than that, I mean, I, obviously you guys know I do music, and um, I think I've mentioned about collecting sports cars and building yeah. Lego sets and like all nerdy dorky stuff that I do. I'm equally nerdy. I um, so. I think we're down to I, wrap it up. I think we're down to scars. Yeah. So, okay. So, uh, as we mentioned, another like difference is how our scars look. So, I don't know if I get a good angle for that, but we'll see. Yeah, I I'll, I'll, I'll judge if you got a good angle. Well, you can see. I'll I'll just sort I of see it. lift up so you can you can tell me if I'm like in the camera. Yeah, you're in. Okay. So you can see. But that mu- that muscular trapezius is blocking um, or getting in the way sorry yeah <laughs> but you can see how like my back is um well for lack of a better word deformed like it's crooked on the one side the shirtless in here and the um the scar is like at an angle can you see mine yes so and yours looks mm-hmm. so much nicer yeah. than mine honestly oh, <laughs> that's all right yeah. um so yeah and this is interesting i'll ask you uh, because i don't like when people like if I get a massage mm-hmm. I tell people stay away from my spine because when they touch it it feels it doesn't hurt but it feels really really weird yeah. like it just feels it's it's uncomfortable but not pain if you notice there's my 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 spines will actually stop at a certain point mm-hmm. and then you should I mean if you can you might be able to actually see the bars so d- okay. so down here yeah do you see them are those can you show me like approximately where they are um, or where you estimate, maybe? Probably. Or just show me, like, with your hand, how, I mean, how they, big they are. Well, they they're about this far apart, and they're about that. That one. okay. Yeah. And they kind of stop, like, right, start here. I'm super jealous of your scar because it looks so much nicer than mine. Mine is all like wacky and crooked. And I could, I could kind of, but I, with your spine, I could barely see it. But also, and this is something we didn't talk about, but because my injury occurred. At, at a much younger age, I I've had a lot of I mean I've had now fifteen or sixteen surgeries. Yeah. Granted, not all related to that disability. Some are related. Some were because of other things. Um, but I've had three surgeries alone just on my back. So it's two spinal fusions and three total surgeries. Wow. Yeah, I had I had one eight. I think it was one. I think it was eight or eleven hour surgery. Um, yeah. Yep. I feel um, that. Yeah, that was. I mean, I I didn't 
but well, right, <laughs> right, no. um, yeah and like at this point I don't know I mean so they they recycle a lot of your blood yeah when they do surgery but there were times when I needed blood from other people so like I have some of my sister's blood in me I can't have any mm. of my dad's blood even though they were same like same blood type because he had hepatitis when he was younger okay uh, but yeah. like for real, I don't look, like. I, pff, I probably have so much, or have had so much other blood in me. Yeah. I just really don't know. I would have been screwed because I'm more negative. So. I am. What am I? I'm. I got it. I got it on my bracelet right here. I'm. Universal. I'm a positive. Oh, so almost the universal yeah. receiver. Yeah. Um. So I think that's it. That wraps it up. I think we. Don't forget to check out the merch. Yeah, check out the merch. Um. And again, thank you to to my subscribers. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time. And uh, thanks for and, having and, me. Yeah, and thanks for being on the video. Absolutely. And thanks for coming down again yeah, to visit. Definitely plan to again. Okay, cool. This so, weather is amazing. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad. So yeah. last time, last time that he was down, for uh, for three days it was rainy and cold every day. And this yeah, we still didn't do a YouTube video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. We still didn't do that. Uh, but this time. I looked at the forecast a few days before he was going to come down, and it was supposed to be cold and rainy again. But then, miraculously, it changed, and it's been it's been really nice, yeah. sunny, and relatively warm. Yeah, and now th this was kind of a, a, a rather long video because we covered we tried to cover many topics in right. one. Um, I mean, if if any of the viewers actually find it helpful to have more of a dialogue type of video, I could definitely do like a could video do like a video chat video kind of chat thing. kind of stuff. Yeah, I was and thinking we could about do that. Similar we could do subtopics and maybe only like 15 minutes at a time to make them easier. Also, also, Tom mentioned that like doing like Twitch streaming might be a thing that could be interesting to me. And I do have an account, but I've right. actually never sh uh, streamed, strummed, yeah. Stream. right? streamed. Stream. <laughs> well, I, I've, I've started streaming uh, as Noodle of Death with underscores. Okay. Um, so visit that when you get a chance. Yeah, Twitch, on Twitch TV. But um, I've been mainly doing... Uh, actual Pokemon shiny raids and giving uh, free chances to catch shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, um, so anyway, if you guys could comment, like, if, if Twitch streaming sounds like an interesting thing to you, let me know, yeah. uh, because I, I, I would be up for that. Uh, okay, so again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Tom, for coming yeah. and doing the video. Um, don't forget to su subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notifications. And uh, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.